Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a New Moon in Leo Lionsgate portal opening reading for my dearest Leos. So on August 8th, 8-8, eight, eight, very important numerology, um, we begin a new lunar cycle under the magic of the Lionsgate portal. Now this is some high vibrational energy that's going to allow all of us to connect with our inner lion or lioness. The Lionsgate portal is activated when Sirius, one of the brightest stars in our sky, also considered our spiritual sun, rises. Um, revered by the ancient Egyptians, the Orion constellation containing Sirius aligns with the pyramids of Giza. So opening the Lionsgate portal and activating a powerful time of rebirth, abundance, spiritual advancement, and a shift into higher consciousness. All right, you guys, so if this reading resonates with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, guys, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Leos. Messages for my Leos, please. All right, so we have got the chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy. So some of you guys could be Cancer Leo Cuspers, or you could be dealing with somebody with cancer in their chart. But when we see the chariot in reverse, it's an energy of distance. It's an energy of feeling stuck. But it is one of the most powerful major arcana cards. Um, and so it doesn't stay stuck for very long, but it does indicate the need for creative solutions, okay, to your problems. What you need to leave behind, that energy of self-sabotage, the Eight of Swords, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here, about being stuck in a karmic situation, a karmic contract, um, an energy of self-sabotage. What you need to move towards, the Devil in Reverse, Capricorn energy. So we've got the Cancer Capricorn axis coming through really strong. Some of you guys could have a North Node in one of those signs. Or maybe you're dealing with somebody that does. This is about really taking a good hard look at what no longer serves you, what you need to leave behind, what might be keeping you stuck. Some of you may be thinking, well, I need this person or I need this thing or, you know, I don't have enough money or I don't have enough time. Okay, Spirit wants you to really take a look at anything that's keeping you stuck and move towards something new. What you need to know, we have the Three of Wands, you're manifesting. Now, there may still be distance between whatever you, yourself, and what it is you're trying to manifest. But with the Three of Wands, this is about you holding on to your dream. It's coming. It's on the horizon. Some of you guys have felt like you've been stuck for quite some time. All right, what you need to do, the world, it's time to close it out. Leo, you guys have learned some very tough lessons or you're in the midst of closing out a very difficult cycle. The world card is Leo, Aquarius, um, Taurus, and Scorpio energy. So something is coming full circle. It's going to be a brilliant success for you. I love that because you're closing out something difficult. You're learning lessons. You're not repeating what, uh, mistakes from the past. But you have been in a bit of a stuck energy. Okay. And your advice, the star card, don't give up hope, Leo. And I told you there's something here. You know, we've got the Leo Aquarius axis going strong. We've got the Cancer uh, Capricorn axis. So again, North Nodes, maybe you're a North Node Aquarius or Leo watching this video. Regardless, the star card is telling me that your dreams are coming to fruition. The stars are aligning for you. The Three of Wands and the star card tells me you guys are manifesting like crazy. We have the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy. So some of you guys, you've been dealing with an Aries. Um, for some of you guys, you know, you've been dealing with someone or something that didn't want to make a commitment or was, was very controlling. It could be either one of those things, but something that was keeping you stuck here and it's time to sort of dethrone whatever that is. If it's a particular person or it's something that somebody made you believe about yourself, your abilities, Let's go ahead and clarify. So we see the chariot in reverse. So my Leos, some of you guys have been feeling stuck. The six of wands in reverse. So some of you guys haven't been getting the recognition or the reward that you want either from a particular person or at work. Some of you might even be feeling like you're abandoned by universe at this point in time or spirit. 
Yeah. And here we have the queen of cups in reverse. So some of my Leos, um, you know, as a result of, you know, it could be that you guys are embodying a little bit of um, this distorted feminine energy. Maybe you feel like you're really, you're clinging on to something that's no longer healthy because it's not paying you any attention. For some of you guys, it could be a person, you know, somebody that you feel like you need, but they're not, they're breadcrumbing you, or they're just not giving you the affection that you want, the affection that you need. And it's keeping you stuck. I feel like for many of you, it's a karmic situation. Yeah, look at that. What you need to leave behind, the Six of Cups in reverse. Some of you are very anchored in the past. There's a sense of grief or loss or sorrow, like I can't move on from whatever this is. Um, you know, I don't have what it takes. Again, that Queen of Cups energy. You know, and now it could be that you're dealing with a water sign, right? It could be somebody who's, you know, emotionally blackmailing you or somebody that's not showing you any emotion, Okay, but I do feel a little bit like you're being strung along, but Spirit wants you to know that you have the power here to move through this. You're only stuck when you think you are. Okay, and we get the Knight of Cups in reverse. So some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here who doesn't want to offer you a commitment. Somebody here that isn't worthy of your love and your attention. And if it's not a romantic situation, Leo, it might be a job. Um, it might be, you know, the boss dangling that carrot in front of your face and saying, you know, you'll get a raise or, you know, next year things will be better or whatever it might be, but you realize that it's keeping you stuck. But emotionally, you're still holding on to whatever this is, Leo. And so that needs to be purged and released because you absolutely have the power to close out this cycle. So it's just a matter of seeing things differently. Some of you guys, we have the emperor now and the empress showing up both in reverse. For some of you guys, this is a divine counterpart situation, maybe a twin flame or a soulmate connection. But what I'm seeing here, and we have the sun right behind the emperor in reverse, something here is being illuminated. You will be very, very happy. But what I'm seeing is if this is a connection, that you guys aren't vibrating at the same level. You may be trying to fix this. You might be holding on to this. Again, it could be a past hurt or disappointment. And for those of you where it's not a, um, a romantic connection, it's an element. It's a part of you. Maybe too much in the distorted feminine or too much in your masculine where you don't want to show emotions. You don't want to appear weak. You feel like you've got to take control and do it all, all the time. All right. And then we get the death card in reverse. Sorry, it's not the death card. It's the hanged man in reverse. So this is about receiving some sort of enlightenment, seeing a situation differently. So you might be seeing a person or a situation for what it truly is, Leo. And, you know, and this is allowing you to move forward or move away from anything that's really unhealthy. What you need to know, we have the three of wands. You're in high manifestation mode. Look at that. And we get the sun again. So there's growth, there's expansion, there's happiness, there's success coming your way. Complete alignment. Don't give up hope. Three of swords. This is about you getting to the heart of the matter. We have double threes coming out one right on top of each other. So 33 is a master teacher number. Through heartbreak, through sadness, through disappointments, especially through relationships, this is where we learn our toughest lessons. Something's being illuminated to you, Leo, but you are manifesting. Okay, so the spirit does not want you to give up hope on whatever this is, you know, whether that's having a happy, healthy relationship, whether that's finding a different job, whether that's financial security. So we get the world card and the high priestess, cancer and Pisces energy for me as a reader. Wow. So trust your intuition. This is what you're being asked to do. Trust your intuition, Leo. I feel like you might be feeling stuck because you've been trying to trust your intuition, but things haven't been exactly manifesting the way that you wanted them to. The seven of pentacles. Yeah, because you've experienced a lot of delays and frustrations. So, but this is about not repeating past mistakes, Leo. This is about holding on tight because what you're asking for is absolutely coming to you. We have Virgo energy in reverse. So it could be you getting a message. It could be somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while. Okay, but it's about seeing things differently. You've gone within, you've healed Leo, so you're ready for a new beginning here. And yep, there's your wish fulfillment. It's absolutely coming in. And we get the Eight of Cups, but you do need to walk away from someone or something first. Okay, so it could be, you know, take it how it resonates, you guys. That's a, a strong theme in this reading is endings bring new beginnings. But this Lionsgate portal is opening up so you can... 
so you can have some sort of rebirth here, some sort of dream, some sort of healing. You're definitely seeing someone or something very differently. And you're stepping into a higher vibrational timeline with that world card. All right. So we get innovation. So there are new creations. So you're creating a new life, a new love, a new destiny, abundance, very Aquarius energy for me as a reader. Purpose, attunement, vision quest, shamanic journey. So some of you guys, you know, you've been going through a very sort of dark, frustrating, maybe even a scary time, but you've learned a lot of lessons and you're learning to really trust your intuition here. And we get river of blessings. You're releasing yourself. You're stepping into your freedom. And that's calling in this healing. It's calling in this wish fulfillment. So whatever it is that you're wishing for with this lion's gate energy, my dear Leos, you guys are absolutely going to get it. Wow. Awesome. All right. Let's see what else comes through. We get happy ending, Leo. So there's no need to worry what you've been through. You're, you are closing something out. You're going to be excited. I just heard rejoicing, which is kind of a weird word to use. Forgiveness. This is about forgiving yourself and another. Some of you guys are healing a relationship or situation. But moreover, you're forgiving yourself for being stuck. You're forgiving yourself for, you know, what you perceive as mistakes, but you're transmuting that energy and turning it into wisdom. And we get financial discipline. So some of you guys... You are taking a risk, changing jobs, maybe starting some sort of um, spiritual career um, is what I'm hearing or what I'm seeing, but you're, you're doing something differently. You're seeing things differently. You're absolutely getting unstuck, Leo. I love this for you. All right. And we get, well, we get two, we get two angel of hope, look for a cosmic gift. Some of you guys, you might be receiving advice. You might be receiving, um, a gift in the form of like resources, financial assistance. You deserve this and beautiful. We get Archangel Camuel, open your heart to give and receive love. Your essence is love. Archangel Camuel, or some people say Shamuel, um, the, he's about healthy relationships. So many of you guys, again, you are, you know, you could be healing a relationship, um, but for others of you, this is about really getting the love that you deserve, the support, um, you know, calling in that person who's going to have your back that, you know, where you guys are going to build each other up. It's absolutely coming. And for some of you guys, you know, you're going to be getting some sort of financial assistance um, or some sort of resources that's going to allow you to really, really, really bring this to fruition. Whatever this dream is, you're getting blessings of abundance here. All right. And finally, we get uh, truths unveiled. Beautiful. So I see this, Leo. A lot of you guys, you're learning to trust your intuition. Um, and we see that here. You're seeing things differently. You're seeing certain people and situations as, you know, no longer being in alignment with you. And, you know, you're seeing the truth of, of what is keeping you stuck, what it is you need to release um, to free yourself up to call in these blessings. So some of you might be releasing an, a relationship or an attachment to a person or a job or a situation. It's those excuses. It's that idea that I can't do this or I don't have enough money or, you know, like it's like whatever it is that you're holding on to. It's like you're releasing it so you can call in something new. And for some of you, I'm getting so excited. I'm sorry. I'm like blustery and spitting everywhere. I apologize. Um, this star card is like, don't lose hope. Um, if you're calling in a divine counterpart, you know, this person is on their way. Your blessings are coming in. Your wish fulfillment is on its way in. For others of you, you're paying off debts and loans, but you're seeing the truth of the situation and why you've sort of had to go through what you've been through. And you might even feel like it's taken a little bit longer than it should with this forgiveness card, but spirit wants you to know it's unfolding exactly the way that it's supposed to. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. Beautiful energy for my dear Leos. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.